Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five favorites from my Loungefly backpack collection. So, as you guys all know, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but I did it. I have become a Loungefly backpack collector. We're well into double figures now, guys. It's not going down well with Mike. I think he might divorce me if any more bags enter this house. So, shh they've always been here um, so yeah before I get started on going into my top five favorites which are all here and ready um, I just wanted to share my lovely friend Sam's page with you all so she's got an Instagram page and a YouTube channel and honestly she's been one of the main influences on me for getting started in this lounge for my bag collection club so she's got loads of videos over on her channel of her bag collection as well as park vlogs and disney tips and tricks um, so make sure you go and check her out i'll link her page in the description box below for you as well so back to the backpacks and number five on my list and I'm quite surprised that it is number five, but this video was originally going to be a top three and I couldn't quite make a top three, so I am surprised it's number five, but also, yeah, let's just get on with it. So, <laughs> number five is the Disney Wishes Come True Blue Backpack. So, this is my most recent Loungefly backpack and I just adore it. Just the colour, the sparkle... I just absolutely adore sequin bags way more than I thought I would and this one if you've watched my unboxing video for the wishes come true blue collection you'll know that the fact that it's make a wish just made me have to have it and I'm so glad that I went for it honestly if you can see I don't know if that's focused but you can see the sparkle and another reason that I love this bag the lining is adorable so you can just see there you've got the saucer of hats i can't really i'm really bad at showing the inside of bags someone tell me a better way to do this um but yeah you've got the saucer of hats you've got stars and it's just beautiful and as i say i mean i've, I've got three sequin three sequin backpacks now but i just think it's the color on this one it just as soon as the light catches it it's just so pretty and it's your typical lounge fly backpack with your pocket on the front and yeah it's gorgeous it does surprise me that it is only at number five but it's like this was the impossible list as i say it was only supposed to be three and we escalated to five so yeah number five is the wishes come true blue collection longest title ever really stresses me out but yeah so number five and then moving on to number four on the list again I really thought that this would have been like my top favourite but yeah I just I just love some others a little bit more I think uh, but we've got the purple ombre park icons backpack so as with the uh, wishes come true blue they are Disney park so you can see on the enamel badge if it's focusing I don't know I can't see it and um, that it, this is uh, a parks official so obviously you've got your purple to pink ombre same on the back with the white straps this is one of the only things that puts me off this backpack I'm so scared of like wearing this with a pair of jeans and the, the handles and the straps getting stained. So I think that's one of the reasons it's lower on my top five list. But another reason, the lining's literally just plain purple. And I was like, hmm, huh. for such a pretty bag, I thought like it could have been a little bit more fun or yeah. But it is a really, really gorgeous bag. And with the all over placement bags, I think this one is the same placement for every bag because obviously any lounge fly bag collector will know with these type of bags it's all about the placement everybody wants something different but with this one I seem to have everything that I wanted on there so I've got a castle I've got a sorcerer's hat I've got a bow I've got a magic band I've got a teacup I've got ears I've got a backpack on a backpack but I also helped my lovely friend Amy get hold of one of these as well. So obviously when it arrived to my house, I had to have a little nosy. And when I looked at them, they looked identical. So I don't know if that's actually a fact. So please correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this 
brings it in to number four on my top five lounge fly list. So placing them, I've got like all around me. Um, see, I feel like I'm gonna change this live. It's like a controversy. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it in the order. So I think a few people will be surprised that this is only number three. It's the beauty, my absolute sparkliest, gorgeousest, just beautiful backpack. Everyone knows that I love rose gold. Um, rose gold is my jam. I have the ears, the jerseys, the backpack. I have a purse. My sunglasses are rose gold. Just, yeah, living a rose gold life. And this was the second lounge fly that I ever got. Um, but it was the original one I wanted. But as I've said before, I wasn't going to collect lounge fly backpacks. Um, but yeah, so it was the second one I got. The first one I ever wanted. And I just love it. I just absolutely love it. The sequins. The, just like even the down to the colour. I don't know if that's focusing. The colour on the zips of the bag. It's just perfect. It really, for me, it really does just scream classic OG lounge fly backpack. And I adore it. And with this one, so I do think this lining is still quite plain, but the fact that it's rose gold and polka dots, I think that makes it quite cute. Whereas the purple park icons, it's just literally plain purple. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love this one. It's just, I just don't think I could ever now go to Magic Kingdom wearing my rose gold ears without a rose gold backpack. It's just, I think it might be the law. But yeah, I did, I did think this would be my number one favourite. But I think the reason why it's not is because I don't actually think I would use this outside of the parks. Just because it is just, it's a bit full on Disney, isn't it? And I'm not ashamed of my Disney love at all. But I just think I've got some other, other backpacks that suit day to day at home, not in the parks, much more than this one does. So that's why this little beauty only ended up at number three. So, top two. We are now in my top two. So, number two. And again, I think people will be surprised that the rose gold one wasn't number two. And this one that's going to come next wasn't number one. So, my baby. My first ever lounge fly backpack. My Sorcerer Mickey. We all know by now, if you follow my Instagram or if you subscribe to my channel and watch my videos for a little while now. Sorcerer Mickey, he's my man, having tattooed on my leg. I just absolute love for this little mouse and his little hat. And just this was the bag. This was the bag that derailed everything. This is the reason that I now have double figures of lounge fly backpacks. So he's not your typical lounge fly bag because they've normally got the sort of sticky out 3d pocket on the front as you'd have seen so he's slightly different and i love that about him i just think he's adorable like i've i've used him outside of the parks which which surprises me because i didn't think i would but i love sorcerer mickey that much he's just like just look at him how can you not love him uh, but yeah so as I've, I've reviewed this backpack in videos before uh, so as you guys probably already know he's even got the detailed paintbrush zips from the ink and paint collection and I think this lining is the best lining that I've got on any of my backpacks so you've got the full ink and paint range in there on the lining it's just beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous i mean the detail that are on these backpacks anyway is unreal but to have all that detail in the lining is just like yes stunning he's my baby but he did miss the top spot so to confirm we have five four three number two so that leaves, I've, I've literally just thrown those bags, like, what am I even doing? And so that leaves number one, and this backpack. This backpack means quite a lot to me because it was a gift, it was a birthday present off my wonderful in-laws, and they got me the Mickey and Friends Parks Walt Disney World backpack. 
and I absolutely love it. This is literally my day-to-day -day backpack at the moment, hence why my Mickey sanitizer makes an appearance. But I just love this bag. So as I was saying earlier, placement is everything. So this bag, they couldn't have got it more perfect. So we've got a castle here. I've got a castle, well, part of a castle up above the badge. I've got a teacup. I've got a Mickey. I've got a Tower of Terror. I've got another Mickey. And if anybody knows me, they're my favourite things. So this backpack, it's just beautiful. I think it's just simple and like I say, I use it every single day. So I don't have to be in the parks to use this one. I just, I just love it. Honestly, like I can't even explain, like the blue goes with everything. It just, yeah, I just love it. So here's my number one favourite lounge fly backpack. So as well, the lining on this one, I do love this. It's simple, but so effective. So you've got the blue and then you've got all of the park icons. I'm not really showing this one very well. Uh, the park icons in the lining as well as being on the backpack. And like I say, I just, I just love it. Like I would happily use this every single day. It's just stunning. And like I say, it was a birthday gift and the fact that it was like so perfect for me um, and they got everything that I wanted is always going to be like really really special and make this bag mean a lot to me so yeah number one winner definitely surprised myself I really thought when I looked at my bags earlier that it would be the rose gold or sorcerer mickey but I think when you look at them sort of all lined up together you just know and I just knew I just knew mickey and friends Walt Disney World Park bag winner so yeah that is my top five favorite top five favorite lounge fly backpacks from my collection so as always there's probably going to be more that i want as i say mike might murder me if any more bags enter this house so i might have to sneak them in might have to say like oh yeah somebody somebody gave me this bag honest um, but yeah so thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you are enjoying the videos don't forget to give this one a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. Bye!